The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? It feels like life. Oh, it's better, it's better with you. My life. Oh, it's better, it's better with you. This is true. Oh, it's better, it's better with two. My life. Oh, it's better with you. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to My Brother, My Brother, and Me, an advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm your middlest brother, Wolf Wolf, Big Dog, No Fleas on Me, Travis McElroy. He does got some fleas. Ain't no flea. Hey, fuck you. You take that back. Hey, I seen him. I seen him. And this is Griffin McElroy, the little brother. I'm always sort of doing slams. Yeah, and, you're a stinker. Uh, and I'll say this about Travis. Um, it's been a minute, but I have seen those fleas, you dirty dog. No, I, sh- I actually shaved my whole body um, to get rid of them. So. They're inside fleas. Oh, no, the blood bone, fleas. Bone fleas. I've got the baby. bone fleas. Listen, we need you to become a Max Fun Drive member so I can afford my bone flea medication. It's so expensive. I have to, I have to, every day, I have to fly to Canada and get one big pill that I take, and then I fly home. Rectally. Right. Rectally. And then the next day, I have to do it all over again. And I've been doing this for the last six years. <laughs> and <laughs> and it's you might have wondered, did he stop no. from the pandemic? And the answer is no. No, I had, to, I had to charter a private jet at that point. <laughs> so I can go So I can go to Canada and get uh, my yeah, bone fleas. I've hired a private jet. He did that like Indiana Jones movie thing where it's like a bunch of chickens. It was me and, and a Travis bunch of chickens. In a cargo plane. And Gonzo from the Muppet Babies was flying. Yes. Not even grown up Muppets. Big Bird was being shipped to a circus. <laughs> so I all need, in one plane together. I need your help. You could help me shove a big pill up my butt to get rid of my bone fleas. Uh, if... if <laughs> <laughs> just to be clear, it doesn't get rid of the bone fleas. It just keeps them at bay. This real is, sorry, Trev. Real quick, I'm looking at the like notes for like how to do a good pledge break that Max Maximum Fun sent over, and it says that you should explicitly say the line "Give me money so I can get the pill in my butt for my bone fleas." Yeah, that's actually for next. <laughs> yeah, the next you've, you've got to have the messaging. You know right. how you know how Tony Stark, aka Iron Man, has to have an arc reactor in his chest to keep the yeah. metal pieces out of his heart. That's right. what I need. I need a pill. To keep the bone fleas. The bone fleas hate the butt pill. Then that's all there is to it. It's the maximum. I will have this sentence. I will have it. (laughs) The maximum (laughs) fun drive is happening right now, and we need you uh, to to get on board. If you're a fan of what we do, this is the time of year we come to you for a brief ten day period and say, "Hey, please, please, (laughs) please, Please. can you help us out, please?" The worst part. The worst part is the pill is. The pill is spiky, and I don't no, know we're why. Not no, going we're, back. we're not we going back to the, the well. You had your chance to, at that bit. If I now get a little asking. bit extra money, I can afford the smooth pill. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's twice as much. The fucking American, by which I mean Canadian, also I may be healthcare systems fucked up. If it if you can give five dollars a month, not only will you be supporting this great content, but you're also going to be getting over two hundred hours of bonus content that you are just going to love. We've got so many old episodes. If you've never heard them, there's a lot of real silly ones in there. A lot of great uh, uh, goofs and and. <laughs> I was gonna say goofs and gapes, but that's not. No, <laughs> hey, please, Justin, please don't say gapes. The pill is so big and spiky. Wow, <laughs> that's a goofs and gapes. No, Justin, please. <laughs> Five dollars a month. What does that mean? Well, it, all right, I'll let you all in, and because you guys are friends, no, but no, <laughs> the number at the top of the screen that you see at Max Fun that is absolutely just a computer projection. 
they're guessing about where they thought we would be. No one has donated yet, and you could be the first. I feel like we're we're trending toward <laughs> fraud right yeah. now. I feel like we're because people definitely are donating. So I worry we're saying look, what you're. We're kind of looking at fraud in the store window and saying, I don't know, maybe I could pull it. Well, off. you threw a brick through the store window and grabbed fraud and put it in front of the microphone and like listen. We don't have no donors. We're doing good, but we can still use your help. Go to maximumfund.org slash join and, and think about supporting our stuff. Yeah, if it's five bucks a I, month, I, or if you up it to $10, you're going to get an exclusive pin and Travis can get the smooth pill, which would be massive $5 a month is just the bonus content. Yeah. Travis can't get the smooth pill for $5 no, it's a, a month. It's, a, it's, a, it's the spiky pill. It's the pill. bad spiky one. Yeah, yeah, sure, this sure. This is the one. This is your moment to step up. If you're already at $5 a month. Do you care month, about my anus? If you have $5 a month and you're already at that level, first off, thank you. We so appreciate your support. But maybe bump it up to $10 a month so Travis can get the smooth pill. Please, everybody. Won't somebody think of my butt? It hurts him really bad. Uh, We're maximumfund.org forward slash join. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. It's great. Yeah. Or else it'll be late. Just listen. Just uh, go right now so you can enjoy the rest of the episode. As a as a member of the of the network, we really appreciate it. So, Riddle me peace, boys. Really seriously. Enough Travis about the, my anus. It's I the hope. Max Fun Drive. Yeah, and this is the this was supposed to be putting out our best foot forward, and you want to kick things off. This with is shared riddle? by Jalen. Oh. Thank you, Jalen. Oh, he actually liked this bit. It's the voice. It's oh, the voice that how stinks. About I, I wish do Travis. This? It's no. riddle me piss. Just do your nor- just do your regular, regular voice, voice, and I feel like it would be really it's good. Me, Travis. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> he there reveals he is. the truth. <laughs> okay, this is from Jalen. Thank you, Jalen. I exist, but have no material form. I am made of numbers, but appear square. I build upon other of my own, but do not topple down. I sit still and do nothing, but I'm still useful. What am I? Is it a computer monitor? No. Or a computer? No. A phone? No. Give it to me one more time. iPad? I exist, but have no material form. I am made mm. of numbers, but appear square. I build upon other of my own, but do not topple down. I sit still and do nothing, but I'm still useful. What am I? Minecraft? <gasps> oh my God, Griffin's Minecraft blocks. Oh, Whoa! shoot! Hey! I said the right answer to a riddle me piss. That's fantastic. Congratulations, Griffin. That's huge. That I don't even know. What 10 I, years. Uh, yeah. 10 years off my sentence in the riddle prison. And we're getting closer. Closer every day to that sunshine outside. Um, no, that one actually makes sense, Trav. I'd put the pieces together. It. Yeah, sure. The squid squares that you build on as Minecraft. Kids love it. Yeah. Learn about it. Learn about it, Trav. Learn about Roblox too. I think that's the sequel to Minecraft. Is it? But my, my kids won't tell me. It's a real, it's a real tricks situation. Did you have another one, Travis, or is it just no, just that one? I didn't expect Griffin's brain to be so, I don't know, young. Here's what's here's what's wild, and people have pointed this out. I am always quick to do a slam on Travis's bits, which is part of the dynamic, and he loves it. But also. I'm really good at them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like wicked good at Travis's bits. Like I'm so totally picking up what he's putting down. Something is broken inside you. And yes. Maybe that's what you're rejecting when you reject Travis's bits. Right. And it makes me think that Travis broke it. Yeah. At oh, some yeah. No, point. no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um, let's have do a question. It. Yeah, please. Oh, we should mention, by the way, this is kind of a special recording because this is the first one. And not to continue to eulogize it forever, but this is the first one that we have recorded since the shutdown of Yahoo Answers on May 4th. Yes. Uh, um, we're yeah, working I, without a net at this point. I, well, the net's still there. It's a ghost net because there are some archived ones that I'm going to bring to the bring to the table today just because I haven't found a replacement for it yet. I, I would, would like to do a little business news here as, okay. as someone who follows business news. Yeah. I don't know if you all saw this, but this week it was announced, uh, or maybe the tail end of last week. It was very recent, within the last week. Um, it was announced that Verizon, which had bought Yahoo and AOL, remember this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they called them Oath and then changed that to Verizon Media Group, I think, because Oath is stupid. Yeah. Um, well, they, so, is, so is buying AOL and Yahoo. Yeah. But they just, at a massive loss, I mean, 
really poor leadership just sold um, Yahoo and AOL to Apollo Management, I think is the name of the company. Uh, but I cannot, I cannot accept the fact that these two are not related. There is, it is 100% correlation to me that this Apollo Management Group didn't have the fucking guts to own Yahoo Answer. They don't, they wouldn't do it. There's not a price high enough right. where Yahoo could be like, well, we do have this one other. No, close it down, shut it down. We won't be owning that. Thank you. What does shut Yahoo have other than Yahoo Answers that is worth, I think it was five billies. Well, it's that fun Yahoo, right? Is that like, it? You pay I, for the rights to Yahoo. It's a brand. It's also one of the most, I mean, bizarrely. Hey, Juice, hey, juice, hey, juice, to, hey, juice, hey, Juice, you do one. Yahoo. Hey, let's see who can do the highest one. Travis, your turn. Yahoo! Yahoo! Oh no, my dogs are going nuts. This is a they good sh- show. They sh- they this show kicks out. ass. Apollo shut it. I think Apollo wouldn't close the deal. I think it was one of the parts of the deal is like, we won't buy this. Yeah. Buy you have it. to kill it. Yeah, this still one of the most visited homepages. This is like there's a bunch of boomers that set their homepage to Yahoo when internet first came out and they thought, well, this, I won't need anything other than this. Right. And it's still, that's still the front page. That's still where they're going. Yep. So I, I don't know. You tell me. Um, they got a lot of news stories up there. Um, it looks like the good doctor may have been canceled. I don't know. No. <laughs> Look at the Yahoo right. homepage for new, new information. Um, okay. Okay. So help, help, help. I recently became aware through a mutual friend that my roommate's girlfriend was planning to break up with. Oof. That's slow down. All these people knowing people and having relationships with people gets very confusing to me. Let's yeah, sure. that was a very yeah, I mean, followable we're... sentence, though, Justin. I recently became aware through a mutual friend that my roommate's girlfriend was planning to break up with him. Okay. It is clear that my roommate has no idea this is coming and will take it hard. I am not the best at helping someone pick up the pieces after one of these things, but... I wanted to offer some support, so I decided to purchase. Uh, uh-huh. I mean, there's a there's, there's a, a price tag price here. just like right in the middle here. To purchase uh-huh. uh, one hundred and nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. One hundred ninety dollars and ninety nine cents from a roommate who's a lifelong Texas Longhorns fan. A cameo pep top from UT football legend Colt McCoy. My question is, how long must I wait after the breakup to share Mr. McCoy's rousing speech to avoid suspicion that I knew about the breakup ahead of time? I don't want to wait too long and have not had the desired effect, but also don't want to move too quick and out myself as an accessory to this breakup plan. That's from Cameo Countdown in the Pacific North. Let's let's take our time with this one because I'm jittery because it's the best question we've gotten, I think, in years. It is so to 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 explore a new wrinkle in the sort of this human web of flesh and love that we have between us. I thought we'd seen it all. This is a new one. What it's do you do one. with your precog breakup Colt McCoy cameo? Because it can't be like, oh, uh, yeah, Doug, my my partner broke up with me. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. But I know what's going to help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't. No, it's like, this is true. You can't have it ready to go for sure. But you also, like, it was smart of you to not wait. Because what if you had, like, sent the request to Colt McCoy after the, you know, the word came down? <laughs> Right, the home office, you know. Right, sure. And what if and it had taken a lot? Sometimes on cameo, you know, I've I've gotten a couple of cameos, and sometimes it takes a long time. Sometimes JoJo Siwa just declines the re- re- the request. <laughs> no, sometimes <laughs> nothing you, against JoJo. I know yeah. she's extremely busy. More yeah. like no, no uh, Siwa. Yeah, that's well, no. Well, because she um, said no, no. As well. No, okay. I mean jo- JoJo's got a lot of different business opportunities, and she's a leader. And I'm just saying that, like, you you can't be counting on it. You can't be like, well, Mother's Day is taken care of. JoJo Siwa is going to, I mean, that wasn't what it was. Sure. You get the idea. You also need to be very careful that Mr. McCoy, the football legend, doesn't say anything during the message that will give it away. For oh. instance, if he's like, I'm, I heard you're having a rough time. Just want you to know, hang in there. Go Longhorns. Hook them horns. And happy Easter. Right, right, and then right. it's like he's oh, reading shit. today's newspaper very In prominently. The, yes, oh. exactly. Oh, also, um, when I, when you go to Cameo, uh, and you're looking at, I'll say it, an artist, 
and 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 wondering whether or not you're going to make a purchase from them, one of the things that's on their page is a bunch of other cameos that they've done for people. And I want you, question asker, and everybody listening at home, to sort of process the fact that there is a non-zero chance that this video is just sitting on oh old boy. Cult's, uh homepage right now. Wowzers, that this, this could just be out on there, there. especially if your there, roommate is a Colt McCoy fan and might oh, be like, "Yeah, oh, I, wa- I wonder fuck. if Colt McCoy has a cameo pit." Damn. What? <laughs> worst what? case, worst case scenario is that they're a Colt McCoy fan and a my brother, my brother and me fan. Oh no! <laughs> because oh, now they we left you all the clues you needed, detective. Hey, to put it together. <laughs> question asker, you need to get a hold of your roommate's girlfriend and get her to do it right now. Yeah, <laughs> your gotta, roommate is going. No, keep- this is what you have to. Travis has a great point. I'm sorry. But you have to encourage the girlfriend to just pull the trigger. Hey, Susan, I fucked up. <laughs> I need and you to be. You gotta, hey, listen, you you gotta pull put a bullet right between his eyes, but just give him that old uh, Anton Chagrin uh, 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 bolt right there and put him down. Just done. Uh, I done fucked I mean, up. You could also. I fucked up, and Colt fucked up too. Colt's complicit. No matter what hey, he I, says. I'm gonna, let me loot Colt in here. Hey, Colt, you're you're on with Susan. Yeah, hey, it's me, football legend Colt McCoy. You gotta do this. Uh, you gotta. You, you gotta break up with this dude. <laughs> gotta end it. Can you get a cameo begging <laughs> Colt McCoy begging the girlfriend to dump? Well, her you need to get now. Please. You're gonna need to get a cameo of someone Colt McCoy respects to tell Colt McCoy to do it. Damn, I'm hoping that there's not a lot of Colt McCoy slash my brother, my brother and me fans out there who now think that their girlfriend is about to dump them, and now they're yeah. calling their girlfriends like I heard the good word from the McElroys. We're done, Samantha. It's over. Hey, and also, I got to call Colt McCoy and tell him to fuck off, too. (laughs) Um, Hey, do you guys want a ghost ghost of a Yahoo? A ghost of Yahoo's past? This feels a little bit like in Stand By Me where they're going to go poke a dead body. Well, I had to to come back to it because we did get an email from the Druid himself. The level 9000, yeah, Drew Druid, Drew Davenport. And this is Yahoo Answers user Josh who asks, baby cast a spell at slash on me? Mm-hmm. My cousin's new baby pointed at me and said something that sounded like a spell. I know babies have a stronger connection to the magical source, and I don't oh, remember the exact incantation. Am I going to be okay? Well, it depends. I, why would you assume it's a negative spell? Mm. Could be a positive mm. baby blessing. Oh, that do they do those? I mean, do babies sure. are babies concerned enough with other living beings that they would would bless them, or are they really, really, really just kind of about their own shit in a very rude way? It depends on if you get yourself an Angelica or a Tommy Pickles, right? Mm, okay. You got a Tommy Pickles. Uh, Tommy Pickles is out there doing good. Tommy Let's P- just say I got myself a Reptar. Oh, oh <laughs> man, ah, uh-huh. babies don't talk words typically speaking that you unless we use it there's some people who use the word baby liberally i think you stop being baby at like 2 i uh, think and then you got i believe it. when the baby can toddle around griffin there is now a new term for them uh yeah. usually referred toddle to as babies. toddle babies <laughs> toddle babies toddle babies toddle uh, babies could it be one of them toddle babies uh what kind of magic would a baby even be interested in do- in doing? Because it's not as fun as it seems like in movies and TV where it's like, you know, hamburgers falling from the sky. Oh, like you're talking about Sabrina. magic isn't as fun? Yeah, no, yeah. It's, you know, it's a bit more tame than, you know, make make my pacifier bigger or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think, um, I mean, let's see, what do babies care about? Babies care about pacifier. Yeah. Babies yeah. care about uh, pulling naked on my beard. What? Babies care about naked. They do care what about naked. Be? Love that. Love that. Yeah. Love the naked. Maybe that's it. Maybe the baby is just saying like, I'm going to cast a spell on you that makes you do stuff for me. Right? Because that seems like what babies that. are about. Baby doesn't have to do that. That's what babies... That's what baby is. Baby, all baby is, is a box you put food in 
and you lay them down when they need it. And if you do either of those two things bad, they make a sound that sucks shit so that <laughs> you will fix it. It's all that they are. I love my new one. So dope. It's great. I've created life. But he pissed on me twice yesterday. A lot of people have baby yeah. because they want to have a child. But baby is a bridge. Yep. And it's a rickety one. Yep. Oh, boy. Oh boy. I almost <laughs> fell. Oh, you did fall. Now you're burning the lava. Yes, the bridge was over lava. Do you still want child? This decision no longer affects you. <laughs> you have baby. Yeah, baby. This is all you've ever had. This is all you will ever have. And here's the best thing, too, is to, to follow up Justin's analogy. Sometimes you don't fall off the bridge, but the bridge has decided you fell off the bridge, and it's still mad. The bridge yeah. is still mad at you. I, I don't think there's anything people want to hear less than adults complaining about their babies. So Fair. I will say Fair. this, what you should have done, and you got to be on your toes, user of this now defunct and disgraced website. You got to do a counter curse right then and there. Like, don't skip a beat, like, you know, pull out your uh, salts or whatever and do a little do a little counter charm. And and when everybody asks what you're doing, you can say like, "Oh, it's a t it's a trick for babies." I learned about it. It's a baby game. On, it's a baby trick. It, this is a rattle because it looks like sage. No, it's a rattle. No, I learned it from David Blaine. It's a baby that's, trick. That's actually the the proper procedure. Is you light the sage, hand the sage to the baby. Yep. Yeah. Then leave. You start a new life. Yep. Somewhere else where the baby didn't burn down the house. This yeah. Is a new life for you. Yeah. Uh, how about another question? How about a yeah uh, uh, yeah another question. I'm currently living in a house that's directly connected to the other houses on either side. Is that a row home? Is that technically what a row home yeah, is? Yeah. Yeah. Is okay. a row, row home a houseboat? No. <laughs> what? It can be a big cramp sometimes, but it's actually a really nice house with a back deck that has a great view of distant mountains. And I would guess a really, really great view of your neighbors <laughs> because they're <laughs> right there. Uh, it can be a bit cramped sometimes. And I realize that there's a nice old couple that lives next door to us uh, that are great neighbors, and I have a mole that I'm worried about because they're just right there and just see see their whole business. But they're all they're out on their deck all the time. This is a problem because our decks are directly connected, and we're only separated by a thin wooden lattice, which means whenever my roommate and I sit outside, we either have to ignore them or talk to them the whole time. How could I enjoy the deck with my neighbors out there all the time? Is there a way it could indirectly discourage them from being outside without being a bad neighbor? That's from, I don't want to be a deckhead. Now, here's the thing about this, right? That I, I okay. didn't consider, but now hearing you say it out loud clicks for me. If you have the option to ignore them, then yeah. that must mean they are not initiating the discussion with you, right? The question isn't every right. time we go out there, they tried to talk to us. Right. Chat you up. So it seems like they've already made this decision for you and Ooh, you boy. keep interrupting them. Being intimidated by- Sorry, uh, what? And being intimidated by maybe having a conversation with your neighbors has such big 2020 energy that I don't yeah. really, it's, it's, but it's also, it's not a judgment on you. Don't want to be a deckhead because th there, but for the grace of God, I actually did. I have gone. I have been in this uh, exact situation. It is, it is an uncomfy one. And the solution I found was do the front porch. And oh. that's, it's essentially like when you share a room with somebody and you draw a line down the middle, um, the front porch is yours. And back porch is theirs. And you don't have to send them a letter or anything. They'll figure it out. But here's the thing. Oh what God, I'm saying I'm is sitting here thinking about it. Can you guys like, I, I think it's really, I, you know what? Something in 2021 I want to do a better job of. Okay. Is before we start just fucking bloviating, I want to try to get into the mind's eye a little bit oh, okay. of, oh. of these question askers. Yeah. I want you to try to crawl inside for a second. It's like, sure. seriously. Like John Malkovich kind of thing? Yeah, imagine you just fired up the Grill and Time playing list. Okay. You got your G Jim Croce just blasting it, right? Yeah. You don't you got maybe a, a nice uh, a nice plate of shrimp that you just, I don't, Trav, don't, I, it drives me crazy. I was just, sorry, I was trying to set, I thought we were doing like, 
It's a mind. It's imagination. Well, yeah, but my my mind is very visceral. Just actually, with mean. Travis imagines so hard that you can fucking. Hear yeah, that it was not me. Megan, you got a big my... plate of shrimp. Okay, what yeah. kind? Sorry, what kind? Grilled. Well, the, mm, well they're already shrimp. grilled. Shrimp. Mm. Wait, wait, hold on. Why did I turn on the grill if the shrimp are already grilled? You didn't turn on the grill. You, you just the grill in time. No, I said so. I grilled in grill. silence. We got to marinate on those bad boys. What? No, it's already yeah, grilled. <laughs> We gonna yeah, make- I actually did do a nice little like olive oil, lime juice, mm, um, just a little bit of parsley. But I'm still confused. Mm. Did I did I grill in silence before you were I turned? Listening to the grilling time playlist, the shrimp you sautéed because the weather wasn't nice enough for. Grilling. But you said they were grilled. <laughs> Why am I lying to myself? You <laughs> used a grill pan. Yummy. I used a grill pan inside. <laughs> yes. Then I came outside because the weather got better. Brilliant. Yeah. It warmed up and the, cl- and the sun started peeking out. God, are we but it only takes like two minutes to grill shrimp. The shrimp are getting cold. The more you guys argue, the longer it is before we can eat these amazing <laughs> shrimp. <laughs> okay, we're what starting kind of sides? over. What kind of sides, Justin? We're starting over with ch- with a chipino. Okay, it's a peasant's dish. and <laughs> You made it on the stove, and you what take am I your drinking? warm. What? what am I drinking? A Malbec. Oh, with chipino. <laughs> I guess I don't even know what a Malbec is, but you're drinking a Malbec. Well, it's nothing. A and Malbec is something, Justin. Here he, here he fucking Malbec. goes. Guys, um, I want I a Gewurztraminer. Can I have a Gewurztraminer? Can I be honest with you guys? Yeah. Ever since Justin made the imaginary shrimp go away, I've really been tuned out of the fucking podcast. <laughs> There's shrimp in the Jabino. Well, then, Justin, you would put a red wine with fucking seafood, you simpleton. What's wrong I'm, with you? What's the. Okay, now, all right, now I'm angry. Now I'm angry. Now I'm Googling what's the best wine pairing with a nice- With a Michael no, Giacchino. Scratch, no, real nice. Yeah. Giacchino? Giacchino? Giacchino. Giacchino, it's a peasant's dish. Okay, yeah, you you can say it as many times as you want, but it's not going to help me spell it and type it into a search browser. Is it, it's not G-I-P-I-N-O. C-I-O-P-P-I-N-O. You said P-P. <laughs> That's fucking awesome, man. Uh, a Californian Charbonneau or an Italian Barbara d'Asti. Yeah. Fuck so you yeah. can like maybe like either one of those. Those are red wines. This is okay. a like super smart. And a segment. nice fruity Zinfandel for your. Oh yeah. You're out of your deck. Yeah. You're eating Chapino. <laughs> yeah. And then you're just like sitting there, and also your elderly neighbor, who I I want to give a little bit more character yeah, to. Please, so yeah. So we're gonna call him. Uh, Peter Parker, he's sitting out there on Wait, his porch. The Peter Parker no, no, or no, no, no relation? A different one. A different one. I absolutely would have mentioned if he was Spider Man. And also, the neighbor in this context would not have access to the information that he is Spider Man. So it Elderly still could be Spider Man. Anyway, anyway, Spider-Man. anyway, yeah. Sure. No, not every. These days, are you kidding That's me? A good point. With all these, yeah. So you look, and you're just like, I want you guys to seriously stop goofing for a second. And imagine trying to eat your chipino mm. and just like locking eyes. <laughs> Wait, what? A- locking eyes with Peter Parker. What are Peter? What's nothing. Peter Parker and I guess their partner, other Peter Parker, doing? Here's what's so frustrating: is they're eating chipino. Is it the same chipino? It's a different chipino, and so the conversation is even more rich. There's tons to talk about. There's well, so now it seems like we have about. a lot in common. Why wouldn't we exactly. want to talk to the That's Peter what makes Parker? It bad. It's- it's not about not having anything in common. They like the neighbors. Yeah. But they have too much in common, and they feel like, I'm sorry, but if I'm sitting six feet from you and we're both enjoying a nice chipino, right. mm-hmm. they're like, I'm oh, sorry, experience that a really nice chipino. Thank you. Right. Do you think maybe also they're trying to, you know, okay. sweet. they're trying to maybe, they're trying to huff a doggy back in the backyard. And <laughs> oh, it's their fucking, it's I their thought you meant ha- the elderly <laughs> couple was trying to hook up with you and your roommate. You're no, they no. always are. No, I'm saying you're in the backyard and you're trying, this is your fucking house. You live here. You should be allowed to huff a doggy in the backyard if you want to, but you don't know if they're cool or not. And it's a thin lattice. And there's holes in it, so they'll be able to smell it and see it and know it. Well, at this point, if you're both having a really good uh, Gimpino, then chances are they also want to have a Dougie, and they're waiting for you to leave. <laughs> and Travis, maybe how do you how do you think Gimpino is spelled? <laughs> Man, I don't even know because I said <laughs> everybody try to spell Gimpino. <laughs> I said Giacchino earlier, talking about the last and now I can't <laughs> stop thinking about Giacchino, and I fuck it, I'm so yeah. lost in the yeah. spelling. Yeah. Thanks, to, thanks to Sunbasket, by the way, yeah, um, former. Past the former, uh, my brother, my brother, me sponsor for, uh, yeah, well, I, mean, I paid for it at this point. I'm still paying for it, but hey, thanks for sending such a nice Chipino. 
If we're going to keep Justin in Chipito, then we are going to need your help with the Maximum Fun Drive. Thank you. Okay, we're finally getting to the meat of it. Why don't we talk a little bit more about these uh, these, oh, these can pledge I say levels? One thing? Oh, yes, can I please. One more, th- yes, one more thing? please. I think that may have been, if you if you do like inverse, um, like it, that must be the, that might be the most we've ever talked about something and the hardest we've ever worked with the least amount of advice that came out of it. Yeah. Offered. I just wanted to, I wanted to mark that occasion. I wouldn't have, uh, but I wouldn't have done that tr- juice. I would have let that sail by. I hope they didn't notice that we did such a dog shit job. Yeah. Cause one. basically what we're saying is like, Hey, we did a shitty job. And if you want us to keep doing a shitty job, maybe consider going to maximum dot org. Uh, slash join and supporting the art and artists that you pity and <laughs> wish were better. <laughs> <laughs> We've told you at five bucks a month, the Max Fun High Fiver level, you get access to all the bonus content for every show on the network for every year that that show's been on the network. You get, It's over 200 hours of bonus content. We're trying a new thing this year where our regular episodes are dog shit so we can say like, <laughs> if you want that good stuff, <laughs> you, you need good to st- go to that bonus well, content. Well, I don't know. The, the uh, special episode we did this year was a lot of fun where we switched around and did each other's bits and it was, it gave me a real anxiety attack uh, mm. but it was, it's still f- uh, a fun time for the family uh, if you want to step that up to 10 bucks a month, you're going to get the bonus content, but you're also going to get a Letterpress Max Fun membership card to let people know your, your bona fides. And also, you get to pick one of 38 enamel pens. Uh, each has a specific design for all the shows on the network, and they are designed by Megan Lynn Cott. Uh, coming back to Crush It once again. Uh, for Mabim Bam this year, it's, whoa, weirdly enough, some shrimp. Yeah, and it says boat. It says boat beauties on it. Well, we do talk about shrimp a lot, though, huh? We love those we do boys. We talk about shrimp a lot. They're really they're fen- they're phenomenal. Phenomenal. They take so little time to cook. Mm-hmm. Kidding me with and this? look at mm-hmm. them. They're fun. What is that? It is a skewer. If you want to wash, Sunday. if you want to wash those shrimp down with some hot tea, <laughs> that's you do you, man. You do you. I am not going to yuck your yum, but if you want to join the Diamond Friendship Circle at $20 a month, you get one of the pins. You get the membership card. You get the bonus content. You also get a Take a Minute Tea Kit, which uh, has all that you need to have a special tea experience, like a five and a half inch tall tea tent and uh, some loose leaf tea. And uh, for the, the loose leaf tea is orange tea. Interstellar orange tea. I'm not doing a great job talking about this tea, but that's just because I don't know much about tea. But you also get a rocket strainer and a tray for you to use and enjoy and just like, just have, just take a fucking break for like a minute. Um, And uh, one other thing I wanted to mention about this is that I grilled shrimp on Monday oh boy, and yeah. then had red lobster on Tuesday and then made a nice chipino <laughs> with shrimp in it last night. Wow, and I'm just okay. sitting here like, I've had shrimp three nights in a row and I probably need to calm down a little bit. Anything in excess like that can't Okay, be great, listen, right? I don't know what that has to do with the Max Fun Drive, but thank you for sharing, Justin. I also want to let you guys know about a couple special features uh, that okay. you could do this year. One, uh, we always have the upgrade, right? If you've been a member for a while, upgrade your membership to the next level, get those rewards. But you can also boost your membership if you're not quite ready to move up to that next support level. We totally get it. But if you find yourself, you know, counting on Max Fun shows a little bit more and you want to give a little bit more, you can do so by boosting. It won't move you up to a new reward level, but it's a great way to give back. Also, mm-hmm. you can yeah. gift a membership. There's lots of people out there who want to get access to the bonus content and things like that. But, you know, it's been a rough year and they may not be able to become a member. Well, if you feel like giving back, you can go to MaximumFun.org slash join, click on gift, and you can gift a membership. You can donate a membership. You can do all kinds of things. Uh, so check that out. Uh, we really appreciate the support that y'all have shown us over the years. This is what our 12 is this our 12th max fun drive or our 11th like max that. Fun? I mean, it's, I've it's completely wild lost. um i mean obviously like the max fun drive is is how our listeners support us directly and it is why we have been able to make this our our jobs and you know launch launch new projects like the adventure zone uh and 
you know, tour back when that was a thing we used to be able to do. And it's also another reason why it would be great to have your support this year because we didn't tour uh, at all in the last 12 months, 15 months, actually. It's rough. Um, but yeah, MaximumFun.org slash join is the link. Think about, uh, you know, supporting us if you enjoy our work and you have the means and um, we, we, we really do appreciate it. Please. Please. Um, Please. Hey, can I do a final Yahoo from the past? Of, uh, and I'm still workshopping a name for this segment also. Okay, sure. Uh, this one is uh, asked by an anonymous Yahoo Answers user uh, who I'm going to call uh, Bail Asks. <laughs> 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 I'm glad that you're running out of Yahoo. Exactly, you're running out of fake. <laughs> that sounded like Baal, like the ancient, uh, <laughs> like the craven god that Moses smashed up. Is this that it? one was sent in by Baal. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, this is this one was sent in by an unpronounceable series of uh, characters. Um, no, this is actually the final Yahoo from episode seven, which is actually titled "Bill and Ted's Most Tender Engagement." And um, <laughs> let's and it's been it has been ten years since we have first floated this. So we have a decade of experience to come back to, and the question is: I think I have Pepsi stuck in my lungs. What should I? Mm. What should I do? Huh. Go to the hospital. That's a great starting point, Travis. Um, oh, I know. Inhale some Mentos. Get it? That seems like you've run the gamut on bad and good. Well, somewhere between like those two. Yeah. Um, you, I mean, you probably didn't because you got two different tubes, right? So if you try to put any liquid down, you guys know about this. Yeah. But if you try to put liquid down the air tube, the air tube's like, I wish you wouldn't. Fuck this. Don't you hate that choke, that cough that you get when a little bit goes down the wrong pipe and your body just like flips its entire shit? Yeah. That without fail, right? Everyone at the table like is on their feet like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Somebody do <laughs> No, no, no. Somebody do something. And then there's always this moment where you're like, no, I'm a fucking asshole. I just, the liquid went down the wrong pipe. And there's still this moment where everybody's like, listen, we can't live with his death on our hands. Right. We gotta do somebody. Somebody's gotta do something. Listen to him choke. And then even after they've accepted, yeah, okay, maybe they're right. Maybe they are just an idiot that was gulping down their code red too quickly. You'll have like one more follow-up yeah. choke and there's still an aftershock of everybody like, oh God, it's back. Everyone well, quick, do something. The problem is, Justin, is that your esophagus in that scenario is like that friend who had like, uh, maybe like a minor car, like, you know, accident, but like nothing major. But then they keep telling the story for weeks because you'll keep having those little aftershocks. <coughs> oh, sorry, it's just <coughs> still, oh, 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 sorry. It's sorry, just, still, and sorry, just getting it all the out. The speed at which friend concern becomes I was like, all right, we fucking get it. All right. When uh, yeah. And what is everybody what's the advice everybody give? You should have a listen, have a have a drink. Try to have a drink. I'm sorry. Justin, wait, you sorry, saw uh, that pause. Went. Could you do that? Just a quick delivery note. If you could do that a little more dynamically, I think it would feel more like a, a segment from your stand-up comedy type five. And what's everybody's advice? You know what I mean? Like if you could hit that. Let's take another run that at tone. It. Yeah. That shit, that super shitty tone you do. You when know, you that stand one, up comedy. That Try one it. when you're doing your really transgressive comedy. Go, okay, go, go give it another shot. Momentum is dead. Now. No, Justin, Justin, please. Just no, uh, no hey, no, no, it was no, a quick no, note. We'll fix it. A lot of fun. Hey, you've made me extremely self conscious. No, we'll re inject the, the momentum in post. You know, it's bad enough, Trav, that here in my 40s, I feel like maybe I don't have the edge anymore that I used no. to as a younger performer. And for you to just be like, like trying to act like I'm, you know. Uh, insert a stand-up comedian that I would have no way of ever meeting and do not already respect and also wouldn't get me in trouble for making fun of, but you get the idea. Joey Bloobs. Yeah. Sorry, Joey Bloobs. I just made him up, but at the speed that you that shit turns enough? around haven't these days. Haven't you done th enough? Haven't you done enough? I just Googled, actually, Joey Bloobs is hugely problematic. Fuck! <laughs> yeah. It was the quickest turnaround from his inception in your mind's eye to making some tasteless jokes. Dun, 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 dun. He just loves Rudy Giuliani. 
Now, here's what's weird. I thought I made up Rudy Giuliani, too. Is Rudy Giuliani like a drop dead Fred character that someone created? I wish. I want a munch. What? I want to munch. Did we talk about Pepsi Lung at all? All? It was really hard. Hey, Pepsi Lung! <laughs> I think we used it as a great jumping off point for doing some really edgy material. In the really way, transgressive yeah. stuff. Yeah, okay. I have two quick updates from the uh, the House of Taco Bell. Um, the first is great. They're the first in the industry to team up with TerraCycle to recycle hot sauce packets. Oh, boy. That's good news, right? Just the, just the container? Yeah, the container or the sauce contained within? Sorry, sorry. So it's the the container itself. These flexible film packets. There's currently no way to recycle them. In fact, as Liz Matthews, Taco Bell's global chief food innovation officer, says, in the food industry today, there is no widely available solution for recycling the flexible film packets that are so commonly used for condiments. So we're thrilled to leverage the expertise of TerraCycle to recycle our iconic sauce packet packaging in a way that's as bold and innovative as our menu. Okay, so. This is good. I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm happy. sure. I love I'm, it. I'm happy about this. There is one little, there's one little thing here. Oh, no. That's kind of, that, that I'm, I'm sort of like, I think is kind of strange. Okay. All right. While the companies will announce details of a national U.S. recycling pilot program later this year, customer participation will be easy and will incorporate free shipping. Wait. Oh, hold on. I am to so, send my empty packet. So I guess what they're hinting at is that one of two things will happen. Either you will take home a pre-stamped envelope from Taco Bell <laughs> that you use to save all of your rugged, spicy boys huh. after they've done their duty. And once it is literally bulging at the seams. You will put it in a truck and they'll take it to the recycling place so everyone can see the extent of your depravity. Yeah. Option two, you will walk into Taco Bell with an ant covered Walmart bag <laughs> full of rotten fucking <laughs> sauce packet wrappers. Absolutely both are untenable. I'm thrilled about this future and big. Big credit to anybody that's willing to put the legwork in on this one. For me, I'd rather just skip the sauce. Another th thing that could be is just every sauce packet is like a postcard. It has every packet has a sauce uh, has a stamp on it. God, holy shit, I'm so tired. But the joke what was about this? the joke I was mean, if you just you, just, you could mail the, the packets, right? You, the, you can put the packets in a it's mailbox. Good. It's good. But then Let the joke thing this. I was gonna say is I was gonna say, so everybody go ahead and just start doing that. Taco Bell, you have done nothing over the past 10 years but convince us that things can be food. There's a lot of things right. where everybody like at first is like, this maybe isn't food. And then you're like, we just sold 2 billion of them. So what do you know? This is a prime example. You've been training for this moment. Make the food packets food. If you call them crunch helpers or whatever, you know yeah, what I mean? Like sure. you could sell a bunch, I bet you could get a bunch of them going. Wait, Justin, yeah. are you saying that you think it's time for Taco Bell to see if they can convince the public to, to eat, eat <laughs> sauce packets? Yeah. They could do that one of two ways. One is edible sauce packet, and the other too is easy. a lot darker. Yeah. Yeah. If they too say, easy. if they pair this, they say, hey, gang, good news, we're bringing back Mexican pizza. We know you missed it. And you sneak into the press release. Also, <laughs> the sauce packets are now called... Uh, Tongue, they're called tongue herders, and they are so delicious. And you they come in a lot of different flavors. They come in three, well, three different flavors. And um, you just go ahead and you do eat those now. You don't throw them away. You do eat those now. This is a new thing. It's not a new product. Are you changing the formula of the nope. packet? Is it now a tortilla? No, it's not a tortilla. No. You, we just want you to start eating those now. And your <laughs> napkin. You eat them. That would be good for everybody. If you're done with your napkin and your drinky cup. Go ahead and eat those. That's now called a um, tortilla fin, 
And the drinky cup is called a uh, styrofoam poblano. Enjoy. <laughs> um, so that that's all great. And then Taco Bell's like, I know that that we we have that one for you. And I said, listen, TB, uh, JM here. We got the MFD. That's the Max Fun Drive. Um, I'm gonna need you to come out with something real big. Okay. And like, yeah, we got you, bud. Because here's the headline I'm about to say to you. MaximumFun.org forward slash join. Please, I just want to slip one in here subliminally because you're about to be so delighted and thrilled that you'll be just throwing money at your podcast player. Taco Bell enlists the moon to introduce (laughs) the whole world to tacos. No. (laughs) Here it goes on. Here's the subhead or the deck, if you like. When the moon looks like a taco on May 4th and... Taco Bell fans in select locations around the globe can score a free taco what? as part of its first ever global campaign. When the moon looks like a taco <laughs> on May 4th in the seventh house. The moon is known for ha- some powerful influences from controlling Earth's tide to even affecting one's cravings. What? I now thought to- for sure they were going to say monthly there and not cravings. <laughs> <laughs> Now, to launch its first ever global campaign, Taco Bell is using a billboard that the whole world can see. That's not a moon. That's a Taco Bell billboard now. It's claimed it. It's claimed it. On May 4th. Sorry, I missed it. The May 4th, the world's largest and brightest object in the night sky. Will will resi- That sentence does not hold up to scrutiny, but I'm not getting Neil back on the show to help us explain it. It will resemble a favorite indulgence, the taco. A new lunar phase we are affectionately calling the taco moon. No. Taco moon is the only... (laughs) No. I'm angry. No, Trav. It's the only sign that fans need to score a Taco Bell taco. When the taco moon arrives (laughs) on May 4th, fans in the U.S. can score its number one best-selling menu item, a free crunchy taco. I get, you know, I guess if you have a menu item called a free crunchy taco, it probably is a pretty good seller. <laughs> it, Can I it, tell you do, why I'm angry? Uh, uh, yes. And then I'll tell you why I'm delighted. The headline makes it seem like the moon is complicit in this and yeah. just seems completely on. Un- the moon did not have a say in its participation yes. in this. And it makes it seem like the moon is like, you know what? It's the latest celebrity endorsement of Taco Bell. But instead, this would be like if they said, hey, whenever your friend Jerry says, I don't know, it says Poughkeepsie, you get a free Taco Like your friend Jerry didn't sign up for this. This is a complete happenstance. It yeah. should say Taco Bell dragoons the moon. Indeed. In order to, um, yeah. the, what makes me happy is I don't think they realize these damn moons come back every month. So yeah, on my next taco moon, you know that when the taco moon comes back, or a half moon, as the rest of us have called it for all of time, the taco moon comes back. Do I get another pass? I oh guess? yeah, I should. Well, they can't say there's no rule book that says they can't, Justin. More than twenty markets are going to celebrate the taco moon. Not really. So U.S. Not really. US taco Earth wide then, huh? Well, Travis, I don't know what you want. Not everybody likes tacos. Uh, so there's like all the different countries are going to do it, but they're all giving it their own spin. Okay. For instance, a free crunchy taco with the purchase of beverage, beverage in Guatemala and a free vegetarian crunchy taco available through delivery in India, all of which combine local flavors with a Taco Bell twist. What twist? And, and the moon. Taco Bell has been an established brand in the U.S. for nearly 60 years, and we are thrilled by the accelerating fandom we're seeing globally. Uh, this is from the uh, president of Taco Bell International. As we're opening more and more restaurants internationally, we know the May 4th moon will take us to new heights. Because <laughs> the moon is high? Because the moon is high, it says here. Heights. <laughs> Julie uh, uh, then paused for 30 seconds as she stared at the end of her Heights. Um, so this is, uh, um, the bell plans to give away the most tacos it has ever has on a single day on May 4th, when the saga of lunar phases ultimately displays its perfect half moon shape. This is truly unhinged, um, to announce the taco moon. There's a bunch of ads where the slogan is, I see a taco. 
And the taco cravings commence on May 4th in select markets as consumers recognize the power of the glowing taco moon. This is literally the words on the page. It's so Jesus. good words. I love words. After these that, ones. Taco Bell is certain consumers were start seeing tacos everywhere, which is really just the beginning of reaching ultimate brand fandom. So they're hoping that the moon will burn the idea of tacos into consumers' retinas. That you will start, yes, that you will start seeing more than 20 markets, I just want to return to this sentence because I cut the best part off. More than 20 markets will celebrate the Taco Moon as the US, be U.S. based brand gives them a reason to try a taco and ultimately experience what Taco Bell fandom is. Like. Holy shit. Well, first of all, can we all just say thank you to Taco Bell, an American based company for just spreading tacos throughout the world. Thank you, Taco yeah, Bell. I bet, I bet all the other countries that aren't America are so fucking jazzed to hear about um, that they took tacos. the moon, that they got the moon, and it's also just, that they got the moon. Does yeah. moon have significance in your culture? Well, we're overwriting that with a free crunchy taco. We call this Star a Wars. taco. Basically what it is, so we take uh, this flimsy thing and we make it hard, and then we fill it with mediocre ingredients. <laughs> Ever heard of it? You're welcome. Sometimes we blast it in ranch. Hold on. What's ranch? Let me start off. <laughs> We're going to need okay, some so. something sprinkled in the sky. To sh oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> the stars are now ranch blasted flavor. Okay? The comets are sauce packets. The sun is uh, the oven that we use to cook the taco moon. And uh, if you see birds, well, those are nature's waiters bringing the taco <laughs> moon straight to your table. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, Pluto, that's the Mexican pizza. It's gone that's the Mexican now. Mexican pizza, it's gone. And the airplanes, those are plates for your they're, taco. They meal. said they're going to give away the most tacos they've ever done in a single day. All right. And which means that all across this planet on May 4th, if you sense a disturbance in the force, it wasn't what is that? Star Wars Day. It was literally hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people globally walking into a restaurant and saying to the face of another human being, the masked face, let's hope, of another human being, hi, I'm here for a free taco because of the because moon. Because the moon sent me. <laughs> the moon told me to come in here. I looked at the here. moon and I knew it's time for free tacos, so that's why I'm here. Or, alternately, a bunch of uh, employees staring into the face of an unwitting customer and saying the phrase, so, would you like to add a free taco because of how the moon looks right now? <laughs> Justin, you're also assuming a certain level of confidence from the customer that I do not think is a lock for most folks, including myself, where I would walk into the restaurant and my heat would be, excuse me, is the moon right for a free taco? Is this the, is the moon in the right way for me to get the free taco now, please? Is this the appropriate time for... A free taco, judging by the moon. Can I have a taco, please? Looks? I think is all I would say. May I please yeah, have a taco you, now for zero money? I'd like a taco, and if the moon says it's free, I will take it <laughs> for Could sure. Could you I check love with the, the moon and see if I can have a taco? Can you open the porthole and look out and let me know what the moon says about free I took free a picture tacos. of the moon on my phone. Is this any? I know I'm two days late, but is this anything? <laughs> So uh, that is that is the uh, uh, the the Munch Squad for this week. Um, that was wow. a that was a lot for Taco Bell to give us. Thank you, Taco. Yeah, thank you, Taco Bell. So, so generous. First free tacos. Now this. Um. So thank you so much for listening to our show. And one more time, we just want to give you the big pitch. Uh, please, 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 if you can, uh, head on over to uh, maximumfund.org forward slash join kick in if, even if it's five bucks a month that makes a huge difference um to us because it really adds up with with everybody else's donations and it's the only way we're able to like uh pay our bills and feed our families and and you know houses and stuff like that um and it, it means um so much to me um uh and to the rest of our family so thank you uh and maximumfund.org forward slash join please 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 don't wait because this is our last chance to 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 ask, uh, please uh, lend us your support. Thank you so much. And thank, yeah, once again, if you do, make sure you tweet at us so we can say thank you. Uh, yeah, and hey, thanks to Montaigne for the use of our th uh, new theme song. Uh, and that, that theme song's called My Life is Better With You. 
And um, it's out exclusively on Tidal. Uh, Montaigne, our friend Montaigne, just released uh, a music video for her Eurovision entry. Uh, it is called Technicolor. If you search Montaigne Technicolor on YouTube, you will find the music video and it whips ass. It's Tidal. I said the jokes because I thought Tidal was not available anymore. I, I think it's still. I don't know. Oh, right. Okay, scratch that about title. I do think it's still going. I thought it was like a Zune thing. What's the one that Real Player had? Do you remember that one that we used to try to sell at uh, uh, Best Buy? Rhapsody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Rhapsody. Yeah, yeah. It's on Rhapsody. That's the Paul. Um, no, that track's going to drop eventually, and it's going to really set the world on fire. Um, do you all want a final Yahoo? Yes, please. I'm waiting on Justin. It's a submarine. Need two keys. Okay, yes. To drop this one. Punch it. Uh, This one was also sent in by the Level 9000 Yadru Druid Drew Davenport. It's an anonymous Yahoo Answers user who I'm going to call Level 9000 Yadru Druid Drew Davenport. Is it appropriate to wear a bathing suit underneath clothes at a funeral? (laughs) (laughs) My name is Justin McElroy. I'm Travis McElroy. I'm Griffin McElroy. This has been my brother, my brother, me, kiss your dad, square on the lips. MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported.